Hello. So in this video, um, we're going to keep getting acquainted with the uh, with this graphical user interface of the code editor, the GUI of the code editor. And so I'm going to start with just a blank um, a blank script here. If you are coming from another tutorial, you can just hit reset here, and that should clear it out. Um, you can also just refresh the page, and that'll reload the code editor um, based on its kind of defaults. And I want to focus for right now on kind of working with this map and looking at some of the controls that are set up on the map. Um, and we looked at this a little bit in the last videos, but um, we're going to kind of we're going to look at it again here and then learn how to write some code to begin to control the map. So by default, I'm going to go over here and you can uh, and hit the by default, we're kind of zoomed in on United States. So I'm going to just hit the plus sign. And kind of zoom in and you should go into kind of some indigenous land the choctaw nation and uh, if you switch over to satellite you can see that as we drill in that we're looking at um at a certain type of land use um and by default the the um, code editor is always going to kind of zoom into this area so let's start for a second with kind of trying to interpret what kind of land use is this if we keep drilling in it's a road that's connected to these um, clearings in the in the woods, and I think you can see the the tower there. I think this is some kind of uh, natural gas or oil exploration. It looks to me like um, kind of oil extraction uh, landscape, where you have a road network going to these little clearings in the in the woods, where the clearings have. Uh, some kind of a storage tank and a tower that's getting showers. So what we're seeing here is that we can zoom in and out by hitting the plus and the minus. We're seeing that we can use this pan tool here. This I, I tend to think of this as the, the Michael Jackson glove. Um, and by clicking and holding, we can pan around. Um, what we also saw is that we can change the base map from the road map. If we click terrain, we're going to get shaded relief onto that um, road map. We go over to satellite with labels. We're in kind of some wildland here, but we get um, the satellite that has labels. It also has some line work that has the roads on it. And if we click the labels off, um, we're going to get just the pure satellite view, which is kind of the view taken from space or at least from the air um, looking straight down on the uh, at the surface. And it's kind of a remarkable image because when you zoom out, you'll kind of notice that um, for one thing, there's no clouds, which um, doesn't really happen. And two, there's no night. The whole world is um, bathed in light. So it's kind of a, it's kind of, uh, uh, anyone who thinks that maps show you a uh, literal representation of reality are, um, are kind of silly because this is a, this is, this is a construct right now, right? And uh, so there it is. Um, and so now, uh, I'm going to do one more thing. We've talked about how you can use the Gazetteer to go Middlebury and type in a place. You can type in your hometown if you want to zoom to it. Um, and there's the town of Middlebury that we've zoomed into. Um, let's go ahead and zoom into by hall. So I'm going to kind of, I'm using the mouse pad, just two fingers dragging down. You can use a scroll wheel. You can also use these buttons if you want. Um, but there's by hall. And, uh, and then I want to show you one thing. Right now, in the last video, we've been largely printing to console and getting things to show up here. Let's move over to inspector and notice that we're going to go from the hand to a plus sign. And so what this little uh, plus sign or basically target is, uh, is allowing you to do is if you click on you know R2-D2 on top of by hall here, you're going to get some info associated with, uh, you're going to get conditions at that location or data about that location. So what we get is um, from the base map, we can learn the longitude of R2-D2, the latitude, the zoom level, and the scale. So zoom level, if we were at 18, if we click out a couple times and try to get R2-D2 again, we'll see that we've zoomed, um, we've kind of lowered our zoom level, um, which means that we've moved kind of further away. Uh, so is that right? As we zoom in, we're gonna go and if you zoom as far as you can and click here, you'll see the zoom level maxes out at 20. I think in lecture it's at 24, but you know, it's it's 20. Um, and then as you zoom out, you'll notice that we get into that kind of fun, um, 
repetitive strip. And that's about as far as we can go. And there we're at zoom level zero. Okay, so let's go back to buy hall. And uh, it's going to take me a second. And what else do I want to learn about it? Um, can I find it just like this? Can you guys? This is where it's helpful. Just be give me some help here. And then let's zoom back in. Um, and there it is. So there's our GT2. And then the scale is telling you the approximate, what does the pixel represent in terms of ground distance? So you'll see as you zoom into um, the higher zoom levels, the pixels are gonna be submeter. So about 30 centimeters uh, on a side for the pixels here. Um, and uh, whereas if we zoom out, the pixels are gonna be representing a larger area, uh, two and a half well, roughly on a side. Is that fair? So that's the, um, the basics of some of the map navigation stuff. And what I want to do in the next tutorial is, um, is, uh, is kind of show you how to control the, control the map um, with code.